What is the best way to get to Belgium from the UK? Is it by air, by train or driving? Welcome to my channel guys. My name is Sarah and I do weekly videos all about travel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and also do not forget to turn on the notification bell. In today's video, I will be showing you what it looks like traveling from the UK to Belgium by car with a ferry. The first step is for you to make your way to Dover where the ferry terminal is located. On your booking confirmation ticket, you are advised to arrive 60 to 90 minutes before departure which should give you enough time for all the checks needed. It took us about three hours from our home to Dover. So our ferry was at half 11 a.m. and we set off at 7 a.m. So we got to Dover at about 10.15. The drive was not so bad because there was no traffic at that time of the day. When we got to Dover, we met the worst ever we were literally standing on the same spot for one hour one hour later we got moving really slowly because the traffic was still bad to get our passports checked so what you do is you drive up to the window where the immigration officers sit and you hand over your passport to them they will check your passport and stamp your passport. Once your passports are given back to you, you carry on driving. And in a short while, you will see overhead signs with the names of the different ferry companies. So you follow the lane which has the ferry company you're booked to travel with. And once you keep driving, you will then eventually come to a check-in booth for your ferry company once you get there they will say check your passport and your booking confirmation and they will confirm to you what time your ferry leaves because we had been in traffic for quite a while we missed our ferry which was meant to be from dover to calais and that takes one hour 30 minutes so we had the option of getting on the next ferry which was Dover to Dunkirk which we accepted and that takes two hours now moving on to the exciting part which is where you drive up the ramp and onto the ship just follow the car in front of you or the staff directing traffic they will point you to where you need to park once you're parked you can go upstairs to the luxurious part before leaving your car, make sure you take all what you will need upstairs as you're not allowed to go back to your car after the ship sets sail. Also, do not forget to write down or take a screenshot of what deck you packed your car on because you might be confused on your return when you need to get back to your car. While you're on board, there are plenty of areas where you can sit back and relax as the ship sails. You can also walk around outside, but just be careful as it can be quite slippery. It is very beautiful and comfortable. There are lots of restaurants on board where you can get a hot meal, a cold meal, or just snacks and a drink if that's what you want. There are many play areas as well on board where if you've got kids like me, it is quite essential and helpful because you can just sit back and watch them play and just relax and have something to eat. There is also a duty free shop on board where you can do some shopping and this is your last chance to get your beam deflectors for your car. So if you drive on the left side like the UK does and you're going to a country that drives on the opposite side, you need stickers to place on your headlights. This is required by law to prevent blinding oncoming traffic. So this is your last chance to get it because by the time you get off the ship, you're already driving on the other side of the road. Two hours later, 
an announcement was made that we have now arrived the port in Dunkirk and passengers could make their way back to their cars so once you get into your car you're not allowed to turn on your engine you have to wait for another announcement asking you to do so once you're allowed to turn on your engine you will follow the signs and the instruction from the staff guiding you to drive out of the ship once you're out of the ship voila you are in france and you can start driving to your destination please remember that the drive with kilometers per hour and in england we drive with miles per hour so make sure you've done your conversion if your car doesn't convert that for you so that you're not caught over speeding and get a speeding ticket which will follow you back to the uk in a few months or even a year so it took us two hours from Dunkirk in France to Saint Nicholas in Belgium where we were going to. The traffic at that time was not so bad. I was driving at 70 miles per hour for majority of the journey so it wasn't so bad and we got to Saint Nicholas in good time to have a break. So there you go guys. That was me showing you what it takes to drive from the UK to Belgium. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment below and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've got any tips to help people traveling by ferry, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.